guys, another idea I am having right now, uh, I'd like to share with you. And that's about, uh, to me it is a fact that we are not uh, ready to achieve and perform at a certain level rather than we do not want to achieve and perform at that level. Okay, I say that again. We are not ready to perform at a certain level as compared to we are not or we don't want to perform at a certain level. Okay, what is the difference here? The difference here is talking about one whereby we don't want to do it or we want to do it as compared to where we have the ability to do it. And again, what I'm suggesting here is that most of us face difficulty in our lives at a certain point in our lives or in our work or in any, any endeavors that we do and pursue is due to the fact that we are not having the ability, the ability to accomplish the task at hand. So to give you an example, you know, I want to achieve a certain sales goal and I'm having problems. I want to deal with a certain class of people, but I'm having problems. I want to pursue high academic success, uh, but I'm having problems. I want to uh, be a better parent to my children, but I'm having problems. I want to teach better, educate better, but I'm having problems. I want to be a better leader, to manage teams better, but I'm having problems. I want to sell better, perform at a higher level, win at my games that I play in sports, for instance, but I'm having problems. Uh, yeah, anything. What I'm trying to say here is that when you are facing problems in any any area of your life that you are trying to achieve success in, consider these facts that you may not have the ability at this moment to get the results that you desire. It is not that you don't want to win. It is that you do not have the ability yet. It is not that you do not want to manage your children better. It is that you are not ready yet. It is not that you don't want to sell better, achieve higher, win at your game. It is that you are not having the ability to do it. So whatever areas of life that we are talking about, what I am presenting to you at this point right here today is that consider this fact that you may not be ready. And uh, really, what does that mean to us? What it really means is that you have to give thought to how to be ready. You have to give thought to the fact that you need a time, a, fr a time frame, a, a time of practice, a time of preparation in order to get yourself to the level of readiness that you wish you could perform at. There is no free lunch. You want to be good, you have to put in the hours, you have to put in the effort, you have to put in the practice, you have to get yourself ready. Uh, can you be ready without paying the price? Can you be achieving your goals all the time without doing what's necessary? Can you uh, be a better parent automatically, you know, without uh, learning how? Can you be a better team leader? Uh, automatically without uh, again learning how and going through certain experience in your life and and uh, uh, gathering experiences to me the answer is no the price must be paid the practice must be done the muscles so to speak must be developed and unless your muscles are ready they develop you will continue to have difficulties to do the, the work that you really want to do to achieve the goals that you really want to achieve. So again, coming back to the beginning, if you are not securing the results or achieving the goals that you have, it is not so much you don't want to do it. Consider the fact that you may not be ready. 
And if you are not ready, there's no way that you can get it. So what's the next best thing to do? The next best thing to do, in my opinion, would be to get to your, get yourself ready. Start now. Start today. Begin to put in the hours, the efforts, and learn what it takes to truly be ready. And only then, I will think that you will be able to have a chance, a shot, at a goal, at a prize that you are trying to achieve and seek. So, that's something for you to think about today. This Leonard Lau Legacy, uh, signing off.